Quad Norris here again. I'm going to update my video. The last one I made, I'm going to do the test again to see the effectiveness of the satellite um, module move into the top of the shell mod. Basically isolating it with uh, tin foil. And to do this I've got two different tablets and they're both going to connect and monitor how many satellites we actually get with this mod. If you know if it affects it's very effective or not. So let's see what happens. I'm going to plug one in and then it'll have a slight disadvantage versus the switch because I'll turn this one on first. All right, both starting up now, and we're going to see which ones we're going to try and connect while they're starting up. Okay, I'm going to plug this in. Connected. We've got satellite lock on the modded one. No lock on the other one. GES 3D lock. We've got six satellites right now on the modded one. No lock on the unmodded one right now. Trying to connect with Mission Planner. We do have a satellite lock now. Let's see if we can connect. Let's see here. All right, now we're going to should be able to connect. Eight satellites now on the other one. We're picking up indoors. And we only have five satellites on the other one. So it looks like that is a factor. Again, this one's a brand new quad with only new propellers on it, nothing else. All stock. Five satellites. We have seven satellites on the modded one. Eight before. Indoors. Usually outside or sometimes indoors, I'll get 12 on the modded one. I haven't really tested the stock one too much. So it looks like the mod does indeed help out some. 